I love productivity apps, especially the ones that makes my life easier. And in this video, I will share like Notion and Evernote with you. I've been using them quite a long time as Stanford University instructor and a Google employee, and I use them for my YouTube channels as well. So in this video, I'm going to compare every single detail, and at the end, I'm going to rank them. And you're going to see why exactly I choose only one and how it makes my life really, really easy. Let's get started. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for watching my video. If it's your first time coming to my channel, welcome. I create productivity videos, social media business related content, and more about like career tips and tricks. As a Stanford University instructor and a Google employee, I do my best to cover especially productivity topics, and I love exploring new apps. In this video, I'm going to cover Evernote and Notion. So the first one that I would like to share with you is the Evernote. Evernote has, sounds like it has been in the market quite a long time because it actually came earlier than Notion. I use Evernote quite a long time because I'm a person who like to take the notes on my iPad or in my computer and I want to make sure like when I take the notes I will be able to find them very easily because like especially when you're teaching and when you're just like doing other stuff like YouTube videos you are taking a lot of like notes so you don't forget all the details that you really want to deliver across the channel. So in Evernote I use it for years and years. And I realized that the second the notion came and I give it a shot, everything actually changed. So I'm going to share with you what are the things that I really like in Evernote and what are the things that I really don't like to Evernote. Evernote has several strength points. First of all, it's simple and it's super easy to use as like in UX perspective and it's really functional. And I think Evernote does a really amazing job, especially if you're working with the PDF files. When I compare Evernote to Notion, I think Notion doesn't do a really good job on the PDF, but in Evernote, upload the PDFs to my workflow on my Evernote, it's really easy. Finding my PDFs and researching on the PDFs, Evernote really kills it in the game. What I don't like the Evernote is actually it started when I like using Evernote on my YouTube videos. Because when I create my YouTube videos, I'll make sure that I'm writing all the tips and points that I want to share with you on my iPad in bullet points. So I make sure like I'm covering every single perspective. And let's say I'm talking to the camera and my iPad actually sleeps. The second it sleeps, when I turn it on, Evernote actually restarts all over again. Not the application itself, the page itself. It takes me to the top. So if I am at the end of the video, I scroll down all the way, and what happens is like, when I just turn on the application, it just takes me to the straight up. And I need to go down, I need to find where I was exactly, and then I need to turn on the camera. Oh, it's just... I think for script and taking notes, and if you are, let's say you are presenting something and you are presenting, and what happens is like you look at your Evernote, you turn on the application and you need to scroll all the way to the bottom. It's just like so frustrating. So in Notion, it's not the same. So when I'm just like taking notes, when I turn on the application, it just stays exactly where it is. I don't need to scroll all the way to the bottom and I just don't need to figure out where I was at. But what I can tell you is, Finding things in Evernote through search is easier than the Notion. Right now, I'm, I'm currently using Notion. I really love the app, but the search functionality I think in Evernote is better and Notion has a long way to go. But when I really need to find stuff, Evernote kills it in the game in terms of search, but in Notion, I think like they really need to improve their search capability. And in addition to this one, in Evernote, I think it's a little expensive because like in Notion, now I can do exactly what I have been doing in Evernote and I don't pay anything else. I'm using the free version and I never had the urge to use the paid version as well. So I think in the Evernote, although they were giving the discount to me with my EDU email, I was like thinking that Evernote is a little bit expensive. Yes, you might say that like the search functionality is extremely important. And when I really compare Evernote and Notion, I really think that Notion, like being free, and I'm able to do exactly what I can do on the Evernote, and I really think application Notion is a winner for me. When I start using Notion very heavily, I ended up canceling my subscription on the Evernote because I realized that I can do exactly what I really needed to do on the Notion. And working on my iPad 
on my desktop and on my phone, Notion app really works really smoothly. So I never had any issues about losing any type of data or just like accessing my application. In Evernote, I had so many issues like the application was failing. Yes, I didn't update my iPhone or something happened about like the uh, software update, but Sometimes I slack on updating my iPhone and there was like always something happening with my Evernote. Maybe you might call me lazy the second that I supposed to update my iPhone immediately, but I'm sure there are other people who are just like delaying updating their iPhones as well. So in Notion, I never had this issue so far and I've been using it for quite a long time. And I feel like Evernote is like easy to use in terms of UX, but Notion's like system and overall perspective is like easier to navigate and easier to find new tools and the things it can actually really help you. And in terms of templates, I really like the templates in Notion because it really makes my life easier. What I ended up doing is like, after I start using like Evernote, I just like transfer all my notes to Notion and I really shut down my entire presence in the Evernote application. I still think they're really cool, but I feel like Notion Notion is more simple, it's easy to understand, the search function really needs to get like better. And I realized that the templates in the Notion are actually like simple to use and really making me very productive. I can show you the templates that I'm using in here and what I will do is like I'm going to make these public. So if you really want to arrange your day and see what type of like templates I'm using in Notion and transfer to your Notion, you can just download them for free. So and you can just like literally use it. The way that I use Notion is like I'm arranging my day to day tasks and I'm arranging all my to do tasks. And if you have a YouTube channel and you're looking for a really cool template that can actually streamline your entire progress, I think this template can really help you. So the winner for me is Notion because like it's simple to use and I really like the templates. And if I really want to find different type of templates, it's easier for me to find and transfer to my own workplace. And I feel like Evernote is a little bit expensive. Although their search function is pretty good compared to Notion, I still want to go with the Notion for the simplicity. And for the search functionality, I just figured it out because the way that I actually find a solution is by using different type of templates, simplifying my templates. This way I can actually search and find what I'm looking for. In the description below, I'm also going to include you some other templates that I really love using. So the ones that I create for myself and also the ones that I imported to use it on my workflow. And I really hope that these type of templates will really help you with your productivity. I know those are like simple differences between Evernote and Notion, and I highly encourage you to use both. Download them both and try which one you're going to like the best. For me, simplicity and minimalist approach on an application is extremely important because I have so much stuff that I'm juggling between and I really want to make sure my applications are as simple as possible. I also would like to hear what type of applications do you use? Do you use Notion? or do you use Evernote? Which one do you like the most? Do you agree with me about the pricing or the simplicity about these applications? Please write down your comments down below. If you wanna see other videos about this topic, don't forget to check out my channel and look at these videos as well. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now.